Hey there, ever feel like you need a crash course on something before, say, hiring them for a super important service? I know what you mean. It's like, where do you even start? Right. Well, today we're diving deep into the world of law firms, specifically Guest and Gray. How interesting. What kind of law do they specialize in? We're talking family law, personal injury, even wills the works. I've got their website, client testimonials, and even some blog posts right here. Wow, you really went all out. Ready to become an informed citizen with me. Let's do it. I'm always up for a good legal deep dive. Okay, so first things first. Guest and Gray is what they call a full-service law firm. Full service. So they handle a bit of everything. Exactly. For anyone unfamiliar with that term, it basically means they handle a wide range of legal needs, not just one specialty. Makes sense. So where are they located? They're based in Northeast Texas, with offices in Forney, Rockwall, and Plano. Got it. Making them easily accessible for folks in Collin, Dallas, Henderson, Kaufman, Rockwall, and Van Zant counties. Did I miss any? You got them all. It's interesting, they really seem to be tailoring their services to that region, speaking their language, understanding their needs. Yeah, local expertise can be really valuable. Okay, let's unpack their approach to family law and divorce. One thing that jumps out from their website is this emphasis on a client-first approach. What exactly does that look like in practice? Well, from what I gather, they talk a lot about clear communication and really understanding their clients' needs and goals. It's not just about winning cases. It's about finding solutions that work for everyone involved. Especially when children are involved, right? Absolutely. They even offer mediation as an alternative to going to court. Which could be a less adversarial and less expensive route for some. Exactly. It signals a commitment to finding amicable solutions whenever possible. Which makes a lot of sense given the emotional complexities of family law. It's not just about contracts and legal precedents. It's about real people's lives. Right. You want a lawyer who gets that. So it's refreshing to see a firm that gets that. It's also worth noting their work beyond family law. They have a robust personal injury practice, particularly for those who've been in car accidents. Oh, yeah. I noticed that. They really emphasize the importance of acting quickly after an accident. Absolutely. Time is of the essence in those situations. They talk about the importance of timely investigations, gathering witness statements, basically. Yeah. Building a solid case from the get-go. Smart. You don't want to be scrambling for evidence later on. Sounds like they're not messing around. Exactly. And they seem to have the experience to back it up. Their team includes former Kaufman County assistant district attorneys and even a past Kaufman County bar president. That's a pretty solid track record. You know, all this is great, but it's one thing to read about a firm's approach. It's another thing to actually hear from clients who've experienced it firsthand. Those testimonials are fascinating. Absolutely. They paint a much richer picture than just the firm's website, don't they? Yeah. What's the vibe you're getting from the testimonials you read? Well, it's not just a bunch of generic, they were great comments. It's very specific. For example, KK was really impressed by the firm's honesty about legal fees. They even mentioned that Guest and Gray advised them when they didn't need a lawyer. That's huge. That kind of transparency is rare in the legal world. People often worry about lawyers adding extra fees, so that's refreshing. And then you have someone like JR, who was going through a child custody case. Yeah. They were really nervous about the whole process, but they felt like Guest and Gray handled everything with sensitivity and care. They even said they felt at ease throughout the entire process. See, that's what I'm talking about. They're clearly in tune with the emotional side of these cases. For someone going through a divorce or custody battle, Having that kind of support can make all the difference. I'm curious, did any of the testimonials really surprise you? There was one that really caught my attention. It was from someone named MB who was facing false accusations of child neglect. They emphasized how Guest and Gray really fought those accusations and were able to clear their name in the end. Wow, that's powerful. It showcases their ability to handle really sensitive and complex cases. And they definitely went to bat for that client. Exactly. It's a testament to their commitment to defending their clients' rights, even when the stakes are incredibly high. It's also interesting how the testimonials highlight the team dynamic at Guest and Gray. CS, for instance, mentioned working with multiple lawyers at the firm and said they all shared a similar passion and commitment to their clients. You know, that strong team dynamic can be crucial in legal cases, especially the more challenging ones. Having that shared dedication to their clients can make all the difference. You're right. It seems like they have a really strong team culture, and it's evident in their approach to their work. 
So we've talked about their client-focused approach, their experience, their diverse range of services, and now we're seeing all these glowing testimonials. What's your overall impression of Guest and Gray so far? They're definitely making a name for themselves in Northeast Texas. They seem to be genuinely invested in their clients' well-being, and they go the extra mile to achieve the best possible results. It's exactly. Their commitment to client satisfaction really shines through. Now, I'm curious about their blog because you mentioned they have some really interesting content there. Yeah. What stood out to you from those posts? Oh, tons. Their blog isn't your typical legal jargon, you know? Yeah, what's the angle they're taking? It's like they're not just lawyers, they're educators too. Okay, I like that. Like, take their post, three things to remember after a car wreck. It's pure gold, even if you never end up calling Guestin Gray. So practical. Right. They break down exactly what to do at the scene, how to document things, even what to say to insurance adjusters. Or predict yourself, yeah. Exactly. Which, let's be real, who thinks clearly in those moments? So it's reassuring, that guidance. Absolutely. And it gets better. They have this whole post about using Pilates for car accident recovery. Get out. Seriously. Talking about the importance of physical therapy alongside the legal stuff, you know. Interesting. A holistic view you don't always see. No kidding. That's impressive. Yeah. It all points back to them really understanding the needs of their community, wouldn't you say? 100%. Yeah, going above and beyond. Right. And it gets even more granular. How so? They get hyper-local in their blog, talking about things like Texas-specific laws. Okay. Sex offender registration in Kaufman County. Even your rights regarding vehicle searches, but specifically in Forney. Wow. They really know their audience. You can tell they live and breathe this area. It's not just slapped together. No, it sounds very genuine. It's not just attracting clients either. It's like... Building trust. Exactly. Becoming a resource people turn to for guidance, even beyond needing a lawyer right that second. It's like they're establishing themselves as experts in the field. Precisely. They're building a reputation that goes beyond just winning cases. They're seen as partners helping people navigate this stuff. The legal world, which can be intimidating. Absolutely. Well, this has been fascinating, this deep dive into Guest and Gray. They're clearly more than just a name on a shingle. I'm with you on that. They're deeply rooted in their community, dedicated to their clients, and truly passionate about what they do. Couldn't agree more. A firm to watch, for sure. Both for their legal expertise, but also that commitment to, like, empowering the people they serve. Yes. And there you have it. From a stack of sources to what I think is a pretty clear picture of what Guest and Gray is all about. Definitely. But hey, here's a final thought for you out there listening. We've seen how active they are in their community, but do you think that local focus, does it actually translate to better outcomes for their clients? Something to ponder. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep diving deep.